anxieties right now. Um, we are uh, in a tough situation where, you know, every day something different and something crazy is coming out. And, uh, and, and that can be very scary and nerve wracking. And that's, you know, no one is, no one is saying no in regards to that, that it won't be any of those things. Right. But we need to manage our anxiety because I, I have a lot of friends that are freaking out, you know, every day it's, it's like, this is going to happen. Oh shit. You know, and now we, we kind of have to stay in and, and, you know, limit, limit how much we are interacting with each other. And it sucks and it's upsetting you know, there's financial woes, all the stuff that we're talking about. Um, but, you know, we got to we got to be able to manage this anxiety. Um, I listened to this this woman named Dr. Romani. Um, she's a, a, a licensed uh, psychologist, I think it is, is anyway, she has a YouTube channel. I, I, I like it a lot. Um, she she does a lot, obviously, a lot of mental health related related talks and stuff. So it's been, it's been pretty cool, uh, it, to kind of listen to what, what some of the people are saying. Right. And one of the primary things that, that she brings up when, when you want to kind of maintain your anxiety and, and manage what's going on is find some reliable news sources, right? Cause there's a shit ton of news coming out. We live in a 24 hour news cycle, uh, and it all keeps coming out faster and faster and faster and faster. So it's very, very difficult to, uh, to find it. And, you know, so, so having those reliable news sources are important. You know, she recommends he, the CDC, the NIH, the WHO. These are all health organizations that are going to give you, you know, all the information that they have on, on their front. Those are, those are good, good sources, uh, but, you know, diversify and find out what other people are saying as well. Um, so I like Kim Iverson. She does a great job of breaking this stuff down. Uh, Graham Elwood, Ramplicon, Lee Camp, they cover news that, that you don't hear, um, you know, in, in um, mainstream media. They talk about things. That you, J Jimmy Dore is really good for that as well. Um, I read things like Through, Truth Out, Minds Unleashed, The Intercept. Those are some of the sources that I trust. Those are some of the places that I like to go. Um, Jacobin, Consortium News, I'm trying to think of like where I go. Uh, and, and sometimes you also got to pay attention to those corporate news outlets just so you know what other people are um, are saying as well. So it's important to find these news sources and important to, to know that what they're doing is that they're reporting things the, you know, the, to the best of their ability. Um, sometimes they have an agenda, right? Like I think the agenda of most corporate news is to make money off of your fear. So the more scared you get, the more... Um, you know, the more panic ridden and it's, it's helpful to their agenda, essentially. So this is something else that I, that, uh, and this personally, when, when she said that was like, cool, like this is something that I do. It was very validating in that sense. Uh, but she said, find some structure for the day. Uh, that's been really, really hard. <laughs> I had a pretty solid structure for most of my days and finding a, a, a new structure has been, uh, quite a bit of a challenge. Um, going to doing daily videos has helped kind of bring some level of structure into it, but it's still, uh, there, there is still, you know, uh, a particular level of anxiety and discomfort to in, in, in that transition period. Um, so the structure that I had before, I've mentioned this a few times, is in the morning I would wake up, make some breakfast, you know, move around a little bit, get, get some stretches in, and then um, and then sit on the computer and take care of some administrative work. So that work might involve emailing bookers and other comedians, setting up tours, uh, promoting those tours, getting in touch with specific groups like activist groups and uh, cultural groups and things of that sort, and, uh, and doing all of that till about lunchtime. And then once it's lunchtime, I make lunch. I, I eat a, a, a medium-sized lunch. I try to eat, don't try not to eat a whole lot, and then from after lunch till like six or seven in the evening, um, I'm working on Forkful of Noodles, I'm working on stand-up stuff, I'm working on Taboo Table Talk, all of the content that I'm creating from the research end of it, the writing end of it, to the production side of it as well. Um, so it is, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that I, 
that I do. And then the evenings can be spent however I feel like spending the evening. So, you know, if I want to continue writing, if I have the, the gusto to do that, or if I want to go see a friend, or if I want to just sit and watch Netflix, I have the opportunity um, to do those things. So that was sort of the structure that I had. And now, um, you know, I had to make an, a major, major adjustment because that administrative stuff isn't necessarily happening right now. You know, you know, shows are being canceled left and right. Uh, people aren't, um, you know, they're just not doing things. Live entertainment is not. So the structure has changed. Now, these videos have helped a lot because uh, I do have, it's like, oh, cool, I can wake up, eat some breakfast, do some research, make this video, get everything done for the video, and then have my evening to do uh, whatever else I want to do, which usually involves uh, either writing or cleaning up or something along those lines, right? Uh, but it has been really, really difficult. And I got to I gotta say, my, you know, my, my anxiety personally last week uh, spiked up quite a bit. Even last night, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. You know, th that's, that's a lot of it for me is feeling like I'm not doing enough, even though, um, I do feel like I'm doing a lot. Uh, so that's, that's, and part of the reason why I think I've had a hard time, like nailing down some kind of structure for the day in just constant, constant, constant content creation uh that's a mouthful for you um is there is an uncertainty of how long this is going to last we just don't have an answer for that right now um and unfortunately that's an answer that we are not in control of um and that's a huge huge uh, uh unfortunate thing and it can definitely elevate when you feel out of control it it elevates the level of anxiety that you have but um, you know, find a structure that works best for you. And, and that's what I'm, I'm constantly doing. And I think I'm, I'm hoping by, um, by this week, I have a nice structure in place that I can, that I can adhere to on a, on a, you know, relatively daily, uh, daily level and, uh, and, and, and go forth into the world that we are living in now. <laughs> uh, I, she also points out, Dr. Ramani points out that this is a wake up call to engage in a sense of community. Um, I've already really felt that sense of community from from just doing these videos, to be honest. Um, and, you know, kind of keeping an eye on on some of the live streams and, and chatting with people about uh, about this stuff. It's been very cool. Uh, and and but not I know not everybody is that lucky, but I've also heard stories of people you know, help, helping out people at the grocery store, checking in on your elders and things of that sort. Um, but I think there's there's a higher level of, of community engagement going on right now, uh, which which we need. Um, and, uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, that what's what's going to be important is who you really are as a person. If you're if you're someone that's compassionate, kind and empathetic, I think all of that is going to come out. Right now, um, if if you are somebody that is more paranoid and indiv individualistic and and uh, wants to get sucked into the negativity, I think that's that's also a possibility of, you know, um, these things are going to get amplified because we're in a period of high stress and there's a lot of magnification on uh, a lot of different things. So, one of the things that that she brings up is uh, distractions right? Find your distractions, you know, get away from that 24 hour news cycle because that's the 24 hours news cycle is meant to whip you up. So you, so you keep going from hour to hour to hour to with more news and more news and more news. And when you kind of only hyper focus on one thing, um, it's easy to catastrophize it. Uh, you know, you're, you're not getting a well-rounded picture of the world. You're only getting a picture of the world through this one, you know, core tiny lens of, of things is like, okay, you're only getting the news of the world based on COVID-19. You're only getting the, the, the news from the world based on gun rights. And it, it, that can get, lend itself to catastrophizing everything um, and not seeing how everything is kind of interconnected. So personally for me, um, 
you know, I'm, I've am i mentioned this before, is this sort of stuff is start circling in my head pretty constantly. I'm a pretty thinky kind of person. Uh, so sometimes I do need some sort of like entertainment relief. And, you know, it's just stuff on YouTube. I, I, I watch a bunch of content creators on YouTube. But the content creators that I watch, um, you know, are, are discussing the things that I would normally discuss on my show as well. So... Uh, kind of veering away from from those kind of content so i listen to comic book news i watch i i watch a you know the comic explained i, I the rob will read a comic book and it's like cool this is nice it's a it's a good sense of distraction and it's still it's still mentally engaging you know like i'm watching star trek right now uh that's what i'm going through on the on the netflix um you know uh, not right now right now like not in this very moment obviously but but you know, that's, that's my, that's my distraction from getting away from some of the news and just being like, okay, you can check in on what's going on today. Um, you know, unless something very huge happens. Um, but you've got to distract yourself a little bit. You need, you need that level of distraction a little bit. Um, this is a big one that's always helpful to me and it helps me slow my thoughts down a little bit. Uh, mindful breathing, right? Just deep breaths, just just doing that a couple different times like slows my thoughts down it slows my um breathing down and gets me you know back to back to some level of stability so i can think through my problems so uh just take a moment to do that if if uh if you don't um you know, like if you find yourself kind of getting caught up in, in a bunch of stuff, especially like if you've if you've read five articles about this thing and you're kind of getting panicked a little bit, just breathe in and breathe out and uh, something will, uh, you know, it'll it'll it automatically like you're adding more oxygen into your system. You're slowing your body down. You slow your heart rate down. And some, sometimes that physical um, activity that you do helps with with alleviating some of the mental stresses you know check in another thing is to check in with your family and friends um that's a nice uh, distraction as well right so to just kind of chat with a friend and and what you might end up finding out is that you're not alone in the way that you think um other people might be going through this this uh you know this level of panic as well you, you, you never know. So checking in with family and friends can be important um, and very beneficial. Uh, and the last thing is don't deny each other's experiences. If, if a friend of yours or family member is coming to you and, you know, saying something like, I'm, this is crazy, like, I'm freaking out about this thing. Yeah, I know. It's very scary. Like, what they're going through is absolutely real. It's absolutely critical. And don't, don't, don't be like, ah, you're being fucking crazy. It's stupid. You're being dumb. Those kind of things in a moment like this are are not particularly helpful. Um, Kind of, yeah, reassure them that what they're going through is, is okay. And it's valid. And because it is, it is, it is absolutely valid because we're, we're, it's very scary. These are really, really uh, uncertain times. And when you're in that level of anxiety, having that anxiety called silly or crazy or stupid or whatever um, doesn't really alleviate it. It kind of amplifies it even more and it makes you feel alone and recluse. So don't deny each other's experiences. Um, be there for each other. Know that everybody's experiences is, is, it is what they're going through and, you know, maybe they only need to express it, right? And maybe they need you to help them out with something. Um, but, uh, just be there for each other and, in, in uh, and be a, a nice positive light in the world while still being realistic. I think you can be an optimist and still be realistic about what's going on. Yeah, this thing is a problem, but we can take care of it. So hi everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day, uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills 
uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to uh, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. There you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons, Patreon, Bandcamp, and even PayPal, uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, and that's if you have the means to do it. I understand that we're all struggling through this time, uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free, and like I said, will be up every single day. And a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out. Uh, hit it, hit it up on your social feeds, on on the on the Twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Just share it around. Tell it, tell as many people as you possibly can, uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel and once again make sure that you are subscribed you hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel thank you guys so much uh I, I and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um or has donated uh, thank you so much it really really means a lot and it helps every little tiny bit helps in uh in 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 the in this time of of need so uh be good to each other Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.